Microsoft just dropped a huge acquisition bombshell that's going to have lasting repercussions in the gaming industry for years to come. Let's talk about it. Hello friends, Ryan Camp here with Camp Gaming. Thank you so much for being here today. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss videos just like this one. Well, I wasn't planning to release a new Xbox video this week, but oh boy, do we have some earth shattering news to talk about right now. Yesterday, Microsoft announced their intent to purchase video game publisher Activision Blizzard, who produced some of the biggest games in the gaming industry like Call of Duty, Overwatch, Diablo, World of Warcraft, and much, much more. And if you thought the ZeniMax Bethesda purchase was huge, the sum of $7 billion that Microsoft paid for them is paltry in comparison to the $68.7 billion that Microsoft will be paying for Activision Blizzard. Yes, you heard right, $68.7 billion. Now for me personally, the Bethesda deal was a bit more exciting just because I'm more partial to their games. But you can't deny that Activision has some of the most popular franchises in gaming. So what exactly does this mean for exclusivity moving forward? I think you can look to the Bethesda deal to get an idea of how Microsoft will handle the Activision catalog. Service games like Warzone will probably stay multi-platform and receive updates, but any new titles or new IP will likely become exclusive to the Xbox platform and come day and date to Game Pass. Now I've seen some comments online about how this could be considered a monopoly, but I'm sure that Microsoft had their lawyers look over this and make sure it would go through before announcing it. And last I checked, Xbox is still in third place in the gaming space behind Sony and Nintendo. In a blog post written by Phil Spencer, he says, Until this transaction closes, Activision Blizzard and Microsoft Gaming will continue to operate independently. Once the deal is complete, the Activision Blizzard business will report to me as CEO of Microsoft Gaming. Upon close, we will offer as many Activision Blizzard games as we can within Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass, both new titles and games from Activision Blizzard's incredible catalog. We also announced today that Game Pass now has more than 25 million subscribers. As always, we look forward to continuing to add more value and more great games to Game Pass. So a couple of interesting tidbits there. It seems as though Phil Spencer has a new job title, the CEO of Microsoft Gaming, instead of the head of Xbox, and that Game Pass has now passed 25 million subscribers, so the service is still growing. Very interesting. Now this deal comes with a bit of baggage, as Activision Blizzard has had ongoing legal trouble and even an open investigation concerning its workplace environment and the treatment of its workers. Hopefully with this deal, Microsoft can come in, put some better people in charge of things and make the workplace much better and safer for all of the employees at Activision Blizzard. So some staggering news this week. I honestly haven't even fully wrapped my head around it. What do you guys think about this move from Microsoft? Do you think this is good for the industry or do you think this is going to do more harm than good? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I am Ryan and thank you for exploring the wonderful world of video games with me. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.